Right. Checo Paris. We've met some people and we're going to watch the F1. You might recognize one of these. The he looks guy. very like a guy we traveled for a bit with. <laughs> yeah, we're still on the street. No F1 to be had in that pub, even though they told us they would put it on. So we're going to go back to the hostel now and watch it in reception. <laughs> Obviously with the F1 last night, we stayed up quite late. We had a very, very chill morning. Today we were going to a football game. We paid about 45 euro each for a ticket, but we get picked up. I think we're getting a jersey. I think we're getting drink. And we're just kind of being guided because it could potentially be like a bit rough. We're going to see Medellin Nacional versus Cali, I believe. It's one of the Medellin teams. Initially, we thought we were gonna be picked up at half past three, which gave us a nice bit of time to get a bit of grub, but we now got a message from the lad saying he's gonna be picking us up at half two, so I better start. Stop yapping and start making moves, man. That. Medellin has been busy and the busyness definitely doesn't stop today. We have booked a Narcos tour. Myself and Sarah were absolutely obsessed with season one and two of Narcos, the rise and fall of Pablo Escobar. It's a little bit of a taboo subject here in Medellin, but we're only gonna be here once. We have to do it. Our tour guide is here, but we don't know what he's driving. Is he in this Beamer? That'd be nice. Golden. The Renault? Stop at number one is a graveyard. I wonder what we're gonna see here. Stop number two on the tour is La Catedral, which was a prison that Pablo designed in the early 90s. He was so powerful that he was able to strike a deal with the Colombian government. He would incarcerate himself in his own prison to basically not get extradited to the US. And we are standing now where that prison would have been. Parts of the building still remain, like that part here, but where the car park was, was the main part of the prison. So this is the famous games room. There would have been pool tables and possibly women. Poker tables. Poker so. tables. Okay. The first idea of Pablo Escobar for to build his prison here was to take control over the city and in the first place, the old international airport of Medellin. Oh, cool. From here you can see the tunnel. Okay. But now it's closed, look the, the new wall. That, so that's the entrance to the tunnel there? Yes, that, that side. Okay, cool. On the night that he escaped, Pablo had two options. Through the jungle, which he ended up doing, or via a tunnel, which he had built here. 
we have just arrived at Barrio Pablo Escobar. And this was a neighborhood that Pablo built himself for the poor people of Medellin. And also the people living here still idolize and love Pablo Escobar. Hence the big massive mural coming up here. Okay, here guys, uh, you can see photos yeah. of different times of the life of Pablo. Here, ah. because while Pablo tried to escape from behind of the house, the limon was shooting here. His limon. Ah. So like here? Here. Whoa, so we are just outside the house that Pablo Escobar was hiding in and then was gunned down on a roof just behind it. And we also just saw then that his bodyguard, Limon, was shot there on the pavement. So, grim stuff. So we've come around the back of the building that we were at here and this is the rooftop that he was shot. Okay, but Pablo jumped from the window to the rooftop. Okay, it's when they shot him. So literally that is the roof that Escobar died in and they filmed Narcos here. The guy who owned this property didn't want it. So they got this one, which is mad. I didn't think it'd be this close. Tour guide also just gave us a very in-depth theory. Pablo Escobar decided to shoot himself instead of giving himself in to the police because he thinks that the way he fell doesn't really match up with the way the police were chasing him. So he thinks that yes, the police shot him twice in the back to kind of subdue him, and then he chose to uh, shoot himself. Yeah, kind of bleak, but also kind of cool. If you're a fan of the life and times of Pablo Escobar or have watched the Narcos TV show, I feel like that tour is for you. It cost us about 35 euro each, and I think it was worth it. But one thing I would say is that all of the different stops are well spaced out. So we spent a lot of that tour in the car, but that's to be expected, Medellin is huge. Tomorrow we're gonna go to someplace new. We may end up coming back to Medellin again. For now, I'll see you in the next one. We just got off the boat there and we have stepped onto an island that was once owned by Pablo Escobar. I think by the looks of it, there are multiple mansions on here. Yeah, our boat was tied up here and now it's not there anymore. So that's slightly worrying. 